are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You have to just drag me in it. Empress and I are not, we're not best of friends, but we are cool, I believe. On Monday, April 24, 2023, celebrities, family and fans jumped for joy as Judge Wade, the ex-lover of popular Nollywood actress Empress Njama, was finally apprehended by the police in Liberia. The award-winning screen diva who went through so much emotional pain and turmoil during her relationship with this man praised God for not being asleep and fighting her most devastating battles ever. Empress wasn't alone. Celebrities such as Tonto Dike, Uche Elendu, Eve Essin, Inkechi Blessing Sunday, Ruth Kadiri, and many others thanked God on her behalf. Indeed, it's been one hell of a battle for the movie star. Back in December 2022, the beautiful actress known for her kind heart cried to the world about how her lover scammed her, subjected her to domestic abuse, took all of her properties and important documents, including her passport, yet held her hostage until her eventual escape in the middle of the night. It turned into an animal, beats me any time, locks me up, put the keys in his pocket. In my own house, I had access to, I didn't have access to leaving my room according to the actress wade came into her life after her best friend ada ame passed away the most vulnerable time of her life he took advantage of the situation and pretended to be who he was not not just to scam out of everything she ever worked for even after her escape wade continued to threaten and blackmail the actress with explicit videos and photos of her everything that i said to you i think you consider it to be a joke but trust me, it's not a joke. I know your day-to-day -day activities. I know everything you do on your daily basis. You're facing Akira, you're facing Daisy, you're facing Dad, everything. I know absolutely everything. The actress's ex-lover leaked her private pictures and videos via a WhatsApp group chat in which he added blogs and several people before going to brag that nobody can make him answer for his crimes. And this was when the search for Wade began. Almost four months later, Wade was finally caught and according to the Liberian police, over 20 women filed a complaint against the notorious wealthy women's karma. Surprisingly, documents of many Nollywood actresses were found on the notorious karma's phone. One of them happens to be Iniedo, a screenshot of her alleged video called Conversation with Wade made the rounds on Instagram alongside a picture of her international passport. As people begin to speculate that Ini is also a victim like Empress, the actress has come out to tell her side of the story. I think that every one of us are responsible to take responsibility for every action that we take. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? All of us have been in relationships that did not turn out so well or something that you're proud of. You bear the consequences of that decision you made, however it comes out. You don't try to pull other people into that shit because that's your mistake, that's your mess. On the side, Empress Njama bragged that Wade was caught because she is a child of grace. But not everyone I'm agrees with that. Yeah. No, yeah. nobody is presuming you guilty. That is alleged. Thank you so much. You get on this case together. Is Empress truly a child of grace? Hello, guys. It's Tico here for African Glitz. That's one of us. Thank you for everything. Guys, next week we are chopping shadow. Chopping waiting. 2022 was such a challenging year for Nollywood actress Empress Njama. The Nigerian Cameroonian actress, who started the year worrying about the mental health of her best friend, Ada Ame, will eventually be thrown into grief and mourning in July of that year when her bestie passed away suddenly, and everything began to go downhill from here. The actress, who took some time off social media, eventually resurfaced. Even with all the makeup and glam, fans complained that she looked tired and sad. Fast forward to November 17, on the occasion of her birthday, Empress broke the internet with her birthday photo shoots and celebration, almost convincing everyone that she was now in a better place. Suddenly, on December 15, 2022, this awkward video surfaced on her Instagram page, with the actress announcing her engagement to a secret lover and officially off the market. The Nollywood star showed off the engagement ring of a man in the background. In the caption, she wrote, I just got engaged today, August 18, I am officially off the market. I am engaged. Thank you, Jesus. It's very beautiful. Thank you, baby. I love it. I got engaged today, the 18th. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Many of our colleagues immediately began to congratulate her on the good news. However, fans needed clarification about the character change. 
many who have known the actress for a long time insisted that Empress is not one to hide a lover, talk more or announce an engagement without being glammed up like she always does on most occasions. Weeks later, the truth began to unfold. The 42-year-old actress gained access to her business page and hurriedly debunked the news of a sudden engagement. In a live stream shared via a business page, the actress revealed that the engagement video posted on her personal page was made under duress. She also disclosed that she had been scammed, beaten and held hostage by the supposed fiancé, George Wade, a Liberian man, before her eventual escape. According to the actress, Wade came into her life after her best friend, Ada Ame, passed and took advantage of her vulnerability, proposing love to her. Months after, the graduate of Olabisi Onobanjo University would find out that Wade isn't who he claimed to be but a fraudster who targets vulnerable, wealthy women to take everything from them. Explaining that the past month had been a nightmare, the actress said he took all her properties, cars and passports, hacked her Instagram page, held her hostage and filmed explicit videos of her, saying that she owed him $450,000 and if she doesn't pay, it will release the videos. I noticed that he also had loads of videos of other people. I saw most of my colleagues. I saw their chat, I saw everything. And I know those people could not speak up because they were scared. Even after her escape, Wade continued to threaten the actress. He eventually leaked her nude pictures and videos via a WhatsApp group chat in which he added blogs and several people. In a video that also went viral, Wade bragged that he was out of Nigeria and nobody could catch him, even if they tried. This was when the search for the notorious Liberian scammer began. Four sold months after searching, Wade was finally arrested by the Liberian police. The actress confirmed the news via her Instagram stories with a video of Wade looking dirty and being handcuffed. Our God is not asleep. Empress Njama's blackmailer finally caught in Liberia. Her caption read, The Liberian police took to their Facebook page to live broadcast the notorious Kama's arrest, revealing that over 20 Liberian women have complained about the man Empress Njama once called a boyfriend and that Judge Wade's real name is Nicholas Jack Davis. Our invitation today is on the basis of the arrest of a notorious scammer in person of Nicholas Jack Davis. There have been several complaints filed or brought to our attention against Nicholas Jack Davis, 39 years old. Suspect Davis has victimized several females, over 20 victims, female victims. The police chief said, The notorious Kama has been arrested severally, investigated and charged to court, but he comes out and repeats the offense he was charged with. Regards to our current arrest, there have been several complaints filed against the suspect, of which the suspect has victimized over 20 females. The 39-year-old absconded with his victim's bags, gold, phones and other expensive materials. He was arrested at the Miami beach while trying to victimize other females. There was prior information that the suspect carried out the same act in Nigeria with a female actress who felt like a victim of his scamming operation. He is currently investigated at the central headquarters. As expected, the social media space was filled with so much celebration as celebrities and fans mutilated over Wade's arrest, especially after all he did to Empress. Later that day, screenshots of Iniedo alleged video call conversation with Wade started circulating on Instagram alongside a picture of her international passport. A notorious Instagram gossip page leaked the information to prove that Empress was not the Liberian fraudster only victim but many more actresses like Iniedo who refused to speak up. The gossip page claimed that a video call clip and passport picture was found in Wade's phone after his arrest, alleging that the mother of one had a relationship with the suspect. As the narrative continued to spread like wildfire, Iniedo, who at the time was in Texas, USA, quickly jumped on an Instagram live to clear herself. 
The Shanty Town star actress accused those sharing the information of deliberately picking on her because she barely responds to rumors about her. According to Ini, in 2022, Wade texted her with a foreign number about a film he wanted her to be in. The actress said he introduced himself as a filmmaker after claiming one of her colleagues she is close to gave him a number. Along the line, Wade shifted the professional conversation to a personal one and started talking about his interest in being in a relationship with her, immediately making her suspicious. Wade then requested that the Nollywood diva send a passport. Still, she declined and eventually blocked him, adding that Wade only made one video call to her, hence the screenshot of the video call he allegedly had in his possession. I have like literally the entire chat. The time this man was chatting with me and then he goes from there he drifts and starts to try to go personal oh i'd want to have a relationship with you and i'm like okay um it's not adding up you see that you want to make a film or you want to be in a relationship it, the two of them don't mix i have never ever set my eyes this my two eyes has never seen this guy face to face and he goes, he starts to twist what I'm bringing, you know, dropping some names of my colleagues, some of which, some of whom I really respect. And I'm like, he starts to drop names. I'm like, you know, this conversation is not going where it should go. He goes, okay, I, I'm going to block you. And I blocked him. He put me on video call. I just, I hung up. I'm like, let's talk on audio call. And that was it. And then this guy saves that video. Why didn't they release the, the audio, whatever? The beautiful actress Helen from Akwai Bomb State further called out the people who dragged her into the issue, stating they did it because she hardly reacts to rumors about her and they have done the worst over the years, trying to dent her image. Was Iniedo a victim or is she just capping? We would never know. But since Wade's arrest, Empress Njama has bragged on Instagram about being a child of grace. In a post on Instagram, she bragged and said, when you touch a child of grace, you will be disgraced. Never ever underestimate the power of prayer. Talk less and do more. Never be ashamed to tell your story. Women are strong beings. Hypocrites, make an arrest. One strong woman can change the narrative. Walk with your head up high. He without sin, cast the first stone. To all the victims I encourage to speak out, you are all heroes. So many are victims, but vultures on social media won't allow them to speak out. Fake people everywhere. I set a lot free. That's my joy. Empress Father said that she may have lost everything but didn't lose her life, which shows that God is looking out for her. I may have lost my entire savings, car, international passports with visa, valuables, but not my life. Our stories will be told someday. We are super women. Today, the world showed that true love exists. Only a fool will say there is no God, she wrote. The 42-year-old actress also fired back at those judging her over how a relationship with Wade ended, saying nobody is above making mistake. But being able to own up to it instead of hiding in shame as she did is the way to go. Interestingly, many don't agree with the Nigerian Cameroonian actress that she is a child of grace. According to them, what happened to her can never happen to someone who carries grace, but only to someone greedy and looking to also cash out from a man pretending to be rich. On the other hand, many have been bashing her for dating such a dirty looking guy, saying she has a very poor standard for men. One Instagram user wrote, Empress, own your shit. We know grace when we see grace. Yours was just a typical case of bushmeat don't catch the hunter. Another added, I am sure that your ex, Timaya, will forever deny you. I mean, how did you start sleeping with that kind of guy repeatedly in the first place? Another user wrote, Most of your actresses no get swag. You just they form for nothing. Look at the kind of guy you they misbehave with all in the name of love. No matter what, you should be ashamed of your stupid behavior. Just thank God the idiot has been apprehended. One commented, Rubbish talk. You messed up and you should learn from your lessons than turning motivational. Next time, date a human being, not an animal. Another also tweeted, <laughs> Madam EP, congrats. But learn not all men are dating material or marriage material. Another wrote, 
But next time, try to they mingle with quality men. Ah, I wonder what is in that boy's body that got you attracted in the first place. Ah, thanks. First of all, I'm already just looking at myself like this is all your fault, you know, because obviously, why are you talking to Jigets, someone who you don't, somebody whom I respect giving my number, and that's how I even got to talking to him in the first place. But that was just work at the first instant, Jiget. Yeah. So I just, so when people say, how did he get your passport? How? I send my passports to agents to get my visas or every point in time you have to do things and that's like an old passport and I'm like this is not even the kind of human being in this whole world that anybody should link me with in the first place because he didn't take me two weeks of having conversations with him to see through his bullshit there's nothing he said that he followed through okay script will come script will not come the next thing oh you know now in every everybody's head every man's head when they come to talk to you everybody wants to throw marriage at you because they feel like that is your problem Jiget. and the next thing you're swinging from he wants me to work with you to you'd like to have a family with me i'm like Gershon and his inconsistency is just i just blocked him i didn't have conversations with him up to but once or twice he don't call me for video call call just came and i'm like i, I never saved his number once so i'm like ah, why why are you calling me on video call Jiget. and i Papa Luce and i we had already discussed amongst i realized that we had he, this same guy was did use the same format he tried to use on me on uche but uche was also smart enough to cut him short in the middle of the conversation to also block him so you are not we, we are not, you fell for this shit that has nothing to do with us you cannot try to drag anybody else into this shit do you understand i, I feel like I, that's that's not the kind of person in this my whole life that anybody should put my name and put the person's name i will not accept okay. that level of disrespect okay. this you feel okay oh yes they have videos of me please i want if i don't see those videos then you guys are, are just you know they just you're just punching you're just deliberately doing this to me for whatever reason would it concern me concern this nonsense i will not accept this dent on my image i will not accept it I will not take, I will not allow this level, this kind of debt that for, for, for the life of me, I cannot imagine myself in the middle of this bullshit. So everybody should just leave me the hell out of it. Hmm. Tell us guys, what do you think about the story of how Empress Njama got herself into this mess? Do you think she fell for the Liberian fraudster because she was vulnerable at the time or because she was also trying to cash out from a guy she thought was rich? Do you agree with netizens that the Nigeria Cameroonian diva has poor taste in men? Hence why she even found Wade attractive to be in a relationship with? What about Iniedo? Do you think the actress was also a victim? Or was she one of the few smart ones that suspected Wade and took to her heels? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.